today I'm bringing you a lesson on reflections and glass effects within Photoshop. So this is a really useful tutorial for those of you who are pursuing, uh, you know, web design and web 2.0 user interfaces because if there aren't reflections, there's going to be glass effects. And um, there are various other web 2.0 effects which I will cover later, such as vector design and things like that. But um, we'll get to that later. That's for another tutorial. This tutorial, glass and reflections. So let's create a new layer, guys, by clicking the create new layer button. And we're going to create a rounded panel on here. So we need the rounded rectangle tool. And you can hit U on your keyboard. Or you can come over here if it's not selected by default. And it's underneath the selection tool. Just left click and hold and select the rounded rectangle tool. And make sure it has a radius of 10 pixels. Okay. And uh, let's drag it out. So there's our panel. If it's not in the center, just hold down control. Maybe move it a little bit below the center because we're going to be giving a plane in the background a little bit later. And that'll make sense coming up. But um, first things first, let's add the gradient. So we have our rounded and uh, rounded rectangle there, rounded panel. If we go over to our paths, there is our selection. Let's control click it. We have it. And we already have our new layer created. So we're going to add a gradient to it. And if you select the gradient tool by hitting G on your keyboard or on the left over there in the toolbar. And then going up here to click and edit the gradient. And you'll see I have a bunch of gradients already selected and uh, already saved. Ones that I've used in the past for websites, backgrounds, a whole bunch of things. But we're just going to select the very first one on the list. And what this does is it creates a smooth gradient between two colors. Your foreground color and your background color that you already have selected. And so we're going to do that. And I already have a light gray and a darker gray selected. So we're going to just mess around with this. It might not be right the first time. That is OK. Uh, fortunately for me, I actually like that <laughs> the first time around. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore. But let's go ahead and let's add the, uh, let's add the glass to this before we add the reflections. Let's do the glass. So. If you hit Control D, you can deselect everything. And in the layer panel over here, we're just going to double click and let's call this panel. And then we're going to create another layer and we're going to call it glass. Or gloss. I prefer glass because it, to me it looks a little bit more like glass. So we're going to Control click our panel layer inside the window here to get the selection. And we're going to go up here to the left and we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool and under the selection type normal add subtract and intersect we are going to select the last one on the list called intersect with selection and i covered this in a previous tutorial it is very useful for glass effects like this or any kind of reflection so we're just going all we're doing is we have the panel layer selected right now but we just needed to get the selection from it so we can still click our glass layer and have everything on here selected. All that we're going to be modifying with this elliptical circle marquee tool is the selection. And we're going to be intersecting the selection. And I think the best way to understand this is just to do it. So we're going to click and drag until you get something that looks kind of wavy, smoothish, comes over the top, not too far down, kind of like there. And then uh, we have our glass layer selected now. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you hit D on your keyboard, whenever I do this, I just hit D, resets the colors. And then if you hit X on your keyboard, it swaps the colors. You can see I'm going back and forth between them. But I'm going to make sure that white is selected. So, uh, again, guys, hotkeys make everything really quick. Promise. So, we have our glass layer selected. We have our white color selected. And uh, we're going to hit Alt Backspace to fill it. And then Control plus D to deselect and this is where we get our reflection we're going to come up to the opacity and we're gonna set it to about 10 percent and we're gonna hit enter and you can play with this you can set it to you know 15 percent or 20 percent I prefer anywhere from 10 to 15 percent so uh, we'll just do it at 15 15 percent and there's our little reflection um you know it's pretty nice you can add more to it you can make it more realistic you know, you can mess with your panel now. Now that you have your reflection in place, you can mess with your gradient. 
and you can make sure that you have something that you like. So let's do that. I mean, let's do that right now. I went back, selected the gradient, and uh, we have a white color. This is a white background anyway, so it's probably going to be pretty white when you think about it. Just white and light gray. And the white starts at the top. See, that looks a little bit better, in my opinion. A little more subtle. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this reflect. Now, we're going to give this a real reflection. So, uh, let's get down to that. What you can do, and I will show you one more type of gradient trick at the end, but what you can do is we're going to uh, select the panel here and we're going to duplicate it by dragging it in the create new layer button and we're going to drag it below our previous one and then we're going to call it reflection and you're going to go up to edit transform and flip vertically and then you can hold down control if you have your gradient or brush tool selected you can hold down control and shift and drag it perfectly down right below it and you generally want to leave about one pixel in terms of spacing so uh, you don't want it to be right up against it and there we go now for the reflection let's select our gradient tool and let's come back up here and we're gonna select foreground to transparent click OK and our foreground color needs to be pitch black I mean black black jet black and then we're going to add the mask to our reflection. We're going to add a mask by clicking Add Layer Mask. And all we have to do to get a reflection, and you can mess with this. This is what I'm saying. Experiment until you find a region where you like in terms of reflection or what you like in terms of reflections. And I'll show you. Some people start right here and they end right here. So we'll do that. I mean, you can start right there and end right there, but that just doesn't look too realistic to me. I want it to be a little more subtle. So I start back about an inch or sometimes it just depends let's start here before we go back there we start at the end of the box and let's go up above about halfway into our previous layer and you can see that just adds a little bit better of a reflection um, again I said mess with it so you can hit control Z to undo that and this time let's go up I may want it to go a little bit up more than halfway and see that's what I'm talking about that's perfect that is excellent and um, that's our reflection and that is our glass another side effect that I'm gonna show you is that um, you can make this even better since it's on a white background and it's probably pretty light there you can select your panel and click on the effects tab and hit inner glow and then we're gonna select a blending mode of normal and our color is obviously going to be white since that's the color of the light coming behind and what you can do is you can adjust the size just so much that it looks like it's glowing from behind and one thing you're gonna notice is that you know it may seem a little chopped up around the edges you can increase the range and it'll just be softer like that and uh, that's very nice but it seems one more important thing you're gonna notice is that you didn't adjust that to the bottom layer but we're quick we're quick we have our hotkeys settled in Photoshop so what we can do is we can <clears throat> delete our previous reflection now that we have the glow and we can duplicate our one with the glow so that means effects that you have tra actually transfer over to that layer too not just the pixels so we'll drag that below double click rename reflection and if you were really quick at, quick at this you could add a layer mask get this set the mode to linear light and edit transform vertical drag it down and then you already had an idea from previous experience with reflections and get something to the point where you like it and you have a nice little reflection